It's too cold out out here to figure out the measurements. Let's go in the house and we'll calculate their weight. This is a pretty neat system. Good morning, modern setters. This morning, we need to go measure the pigs and find out how much they weigh. But I was just looking at the outdoor temperature gauge. Oh man, look at this. 17 degrees out and it feels like nine. What's going on? Doesn't Mother Nature know it's middle of April already? <sighs> When's the nice weather gonna come? I'm telling you, we're gonna go from winter to summer. We're not gonna have a spring this year. All right, I need my pencil, my fabric tape measure, and a pad. You ready? Sorry, Figaro. You're staying in. You ready? And look at that, it snowed out last night. Man. What's going on here? It's supposed to be getting warmer, not colder. <sighs> Morning, Rufus. All right, so we need to get two measurements. We need to get a girth measurement right around the belly tucked up in between their arm, and then we need to measure from the back of the neck to the base of the tail. They don't even want to get up. <laughs> All right, stay lying down. Go ahead. <sighs> that makes it easy. 46 and a half for a length. And then 48. The girth measurement's usually the fun one. <coughs> Told ya. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Eat. I just want to give you a hug. Why can't I hug you? <laughs> Come on. You know you want to give me a hug. Come here. this hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her. Huh. You don't like that, do you? No. Forty-eight. Whew, that was a close one. Woohoo! We got it. I got gotcha. you. What's the matter? You're all woke up now? You're full of energy, huh? You're all full of energy? Yeah. They are nice and long, though. They're a lot friendlier now than when we first got them. Huh. Yeah. These pigs were born in a pasture, and they didn't really have much human contact. None. No human contact until we got them. I went to the farmer's place, we got them into a pen, and they stayed in a pen for a week, and then I picked them up and brought them here. So other than that, they hadn't had any human contact. They are really good pigs now, though. They're very docile, but they don't like to be touched, which, hey, I can't blame them. But before, I couldn't get this close to them, or I couldn't even get a hand on them. So, they have come a long way.
Huh. Yeah, you. Want to eat my pants? Nope. No eating my pants. It's too cold out out here to figure out the measurements. Let's go in the house and we'll calculate their weight. This is a pretty neat system. Sorry for the mess. We kind of got stuff everywhere getting ready for a three-day pasture-to-plate whole hog culinary class coming up. Might actually be going on right now. But while you're watching the video, let's figure out how much our pigs weigh. So what we need to do to figure out the weight is we need to take the girth measurement which both of the pigs around the girth were 48. We need to times that by itself. I ain't doing that in my, in my head on camera. No way. I'll get that wrong for sure. 48 times 48 equals 23.04. So now we need to take that measurement and times it by the back of the neck to the tail measurement, which is 2304 times on the black pig 46.5 equals 107,136. And now we need to divide that by 400. So the black pig weighs 267 pounds. 267 84. All right. So it'll be interesting to see come harvesting day. We got to remember to put the scale on the gambrel and weigh them and see how much they weigh. But that's live weight. So I'll keep this paper and we'll see. So now the black and white pig was a lot longer. So she's 2304 times 50 inches long equals 115,200. Again, we need to divide that by 400. Divide it by 400 equals 288. Wow, divided by, so 1,115,200 divided by 400 equals 288 pounds. <sighs> these are gonna be some good sized pigs. Man, we should have some good meat on these. The other thing I'm curious to find out, we've never raised pigs in the wintertime before. Usually, well, we've always raised them early spring through fall. And we have them on pasture in the woods, so they're getting grass, they're getting, be able to root in the dirt, they're able to eat bugs and grubs and roots and apples. We've always had a place where we've had apple trees or crab apple trees when we've had pigs, so they've always gotten a ton of apples and crab apples and just natural dietary stuff that they would have in the wild. This time we raised them in the winter. Yeah, they had run of the pasture when they first got here before it got all iced up, but it wasn't a lot of vegetation. It was fall. They didn't have apples. They had hay. Every week they get a bale of hay. Well, they eat a whole bale of hay throughout the week and they get grain. So it'll be interesting to see what does that mean for their meat? And then the other thing I was wondering is, will they have more fat on them or less fat on them because of the time of the year? I'm thinking they might be a leaner pig where it's colder out, they're using more energy to stay warm, so they might be using that body fat up. I don't know, we'll find out when we butcher them. So those are the few things I'll be looking to see. But so we got 267 and 288. Let's go check on the bacon and see how it's curing. Thirty-seven. Man, I'm loving that cool bot. It's awesome. This bacon is curing up nicely. Doing it this way it gets that nice brine and it will cure evenly throughout. You can't over cure your bacon this way doing it equilibrium on brine either. So that's looking good. Looks like the pepper and the salt and the maple syrup have gotten over the whole bacon evenly. This is the one that we use, the number one pink curing salt. Just a small amount, 2.8 grams. And this is the one that we used, that we did without 
the pink salt cure. This is just salt, pepper, maple syrup. But that one's looking delicious too. Man, these are gonna be good. It's nice to know that I have a good cold spot to cure my meat with a constant temperature and we can do all the curing process safe. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to start doing more cures to make more sausages, some hot dogs, and we're gonna be utilizing our walk-in refrigerator. Man, we're gonna have a good summer this summer. And we're gonna be eating good. Well, you know what? I hope I'm encouraging you to try curing your own bacon and raising some pigs. It's so much fun. It's good for the heart, it's good for the soul, it's good to eat good food, it's better for the environment to raise your own and have some delicious food and just go crazy. Man, it's a great hobby. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. Bye.